In this video, we're going to take a look at some new HTML5 elements that we have not covered yet. The first one we're going to take a look at is the mark element, and that allows you to quickly highlight text. You don't even need to have any CSS. You can just plug that right in, and your text will be immediately highlighted. So let's go ahead, and we'll pick up right where we left off in the last video. And we had this paragraph right here that said this is an interesting sentence you might or might not want to read. Let's go ahead, and we'll highlight the words interesting sentence. So again, we use the mark element, and then we just need to close it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and we'll open up our page. And let's go ahead and expand this out. And there you can see the words interesting sentence are now highlighted. So again, this is very useful if you just want to quickly highlight something. Very, very useful tag. Now, the next tag we're going to use is the big one. This is the big addition to HTML5. It is called the Canvas Element Tag. And basically, to give you a little background on that, you used to have to do all of your animations on a web page with Flash or Silverlight. Well, new with HTML5 is the Canvas Element, and they basically offer you the same functionality. So get used to this Canvas Element Tag. We are going to spend a lot of time in this course using that because again that was the big big addition to HTML5. So you can now do your animations using the canvas tag. You can draw lines, you can do all sorts of animations. So that's what we're going to be doing over the next several videos. So I'm going to introduce it in this video. Now what we're going to do in this video is set up canvas. We're going to get that set up and think of that just like a canvas. What do you do with a canvas when you're painting on it? You need a canvas first, right? Before you can do any painting. And then you go ahead and do your painting or drawing or whatever you want to do. And that's the same thing here. We want to go ahead and set up our canvas. And then in the next video, we'll begin to start to draw lines. And let's go up here. We'll stay within our article. And we're going to go ahead and create our canvas element. So you just type in canvas. Now at its most basic level, the canvas element takes a width and a height. And that's what we can use to set up our first canvas. So let's put in the width. And as always, you specify this in pixels. So let's make this 400 pixels. There we go. And then let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. You guys know how lazy I am. I don't like to type. And this will be the height. And we'll just make this 300 pixels. And then we just need to close it. And we don't need to put any content in here yet. So there you go. We've got our canvas set up. Now, you will need to add some CSS, and I've already added that. Actually, let's save this first. And let's flip over to the style sheet. And here's what you want to create for the CSS. I've already typed this out. We're just going to specify the type selector for the canvas element. And then you need to put in a border, right? It won't appear without a border because we need to show something because we have no content. And go ahead and add whatever type of border you want. I'm just going to add a two-pixel solid black border and give it a margin of five pixels. All right, so let's flip back to the site1.html and let's go ahead and load this up in Chrome. And there we go. We've got our canvas, which is this rectangle right here. And we can draw on that in the next video. So that is the canvas element. And like I said, get used to this. We're going to be using this a lot throughout the series. I'll probably dedicate nine or 10 videos, maybe more. This is one of the most important element tags that was added to HTML5. And again, it allows you to do all kinds of wonderful animations. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.